Howdy. Welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. I'm Steve. I'm here with Mike. Yo. Christy. Pamela. Hello. And Matt. Cheers. Um, Mike, what are you drinking tonight? Um, Six uh, Rivers Brewery. Um, I didn't check to see where they're from, but they're not from San Diego, to the best of my knowledge. It's a uh, IPA. Uh, it's pretty good. Blasphemy. Yeah. Drinking uh, a non-San local. Diego craft beer. Not a local one. I want to see where it's from. Yeah, it's a, it, it's okay. It's not the best IPA I've ever had. Not really. You can't really taste the hops in there really well, but it's not. McKinleyville, California. Okay. I don't know where that is. That's got to be up north. If it sounds unfamiliar, it's way up right? north. Right? That's what I'm yeah. thinking. <laughs> yeah. So there's that. Have you guys always done San Diego beers? No. No. Oh, okay. No. I was just right. being just, just the other ones right. suck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pamela, you're the only one that has other one that has a beer. This is not San Diego either. Uh -oh. I believe it's uh, Konakai. What are Midway. we doing? I know. Yes. I don't know. What are you drinking? That's what happens when John's not here. I'm drinking um, Isogenic Psionics. Lots of herbs and good stuff. Let's see. Coffee and liquor for me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of liquor is it? Uh, I believe there's Bailey's and then some sort of uh, schnapps. I don't know. But it's liquor. <laughs> <laughs> Not the homemade uh, moonshine. What's the beer oh, you're drinking, man. though? Uh, it's Big Kona, Wave, Kona Big Kai. Wave. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't hear that. Uh, tonight, we're going to be talking about a heavy subject, abortion. <laughs> well, it's a it's fairly controversial topic, I think, and it's one we haven't covered yet. Um, I'm sure everybody is going to want to... Leave a comment <laughs> about how we're totally right on, or how they want to burn our house down. Or we're going to burn in hell for eternity, <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. Or horrible yeah, my, monsters or something. Yeah. I don't have, honestly, a strong opinion either. Anyway, on the discussion, I think, I think though that if you're somebody, I, I think most. Abortions are done under the auspices of, you know, unwanted pregnancies uh, that uh, the the parents can't take care of the child for whatever reason. And if you're one of those people who find it morally reprehensible to get an abortion, you should try to help these people. Uh, meet whatever needs that they need met in order to, uh, if, if they're willing to uh, not abort their child or whatever. I think, I think empathy is a big, uh, I think empathy is sorely missing in the conversation. Uh, empathy for everyone involved. And I think if you approach it from an empathetic point of view, uh, help trying to help people rather than condemning them for whatever action they are, and I think that goes for most most action that we want to take that that we want to take. If we look look at it empathetically, that's the that's the ultimate moral. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, and even when uh, even when you're doing that, that will help a lot. There are also factors you're never going to know uh, in someone's mind, you know. That yeah. Things that have happened in their past that they may not, what, there is really none of your business. What, whether, you know? whether it's outlawed completely or we have it's gonna uh, some kind of uh, private arbitration that goes after these people or vigilantes or whatever, you're never going to eliminate... Abortion, I don't think. I think, oh, I don't think so through technology and through a greater technology, we can eliminate a lot of it. For instance, with uh, you know, the, the advances in artificial wombs and things like that. But I don't think that you could ever fully eliminate How it. How does that support abortion, though? What do you mean? You could take no, the baby saying, out of out of the one. So it doesn't have to die. It. If, it, so, if it were yeah, possible yeah. to uh, create an artificial yeah. womb, which they are right. close to, they claim. Yeah. Um, if a woman 
did uh, abort a baby, they could still uh, keep it alive right. and adopt it out or whatever. It, it would be a... They didn't want to have to die. We're not right. at that point, though. Right, Necessarily. so that would be an option for a woman who's right. choosing to make another choice. Um, well, I guess uh, my perception of it is uh, I don't really have a lot to say about it because I, I think, we, as we were, we were talking before, uh, about before the show, I, I think it, it, it's more, it's, it, it's better for, for uh, uh, the women to, to speak on it more than I so, think the, the men. Well, but, but I don't it, know, no, but, no, but it, it does, bringing that up. Let's say your girlfriend well, had your child, that's, okay, that's and then I'm, she well, wanted to abort it and you didn't want her to. Well, see, that's... So that's, what, I mean, I think there's... That's the, what I was g- going to bring up of, of a sense is to to my, my, my personal experience with, uh, with abortion was I was, uh, you know, in a... You know, at the time, a, a, a very healthy relationship uh, with an ex-girlfriend, and uh, she got pregnant, uh, obviously mine, um, and I didn't want to have the child. She was kind of up in the air about it. It caused some conflict. She ended up not, you know, obviously nothing physical, because, you know, neither one of us were, you know, aggressive like that, but... Um, she ended up uh, getting an abortion, and more or less, it was the cause, you know, uh, or at least the major cause of our breakup. So, you know, that that's the thing about it is that because it's such a heavy issue, you know, that it it, it will, you know, it does drive a wedge uh, through a lot of people in society in general. That's why, you know, you've got, you know, you you have uh, protests outside abortion clinics, and you have, you know. Uh, you know, horrible situations in the past where, you know, if the decision to have an abortion was made, you're having to go to, you know, like, literally a back alley somewhere and, you know, do, you know, what more or less was practically experimental procedures, you know, So women to, don't have to do that the, now and that's it, And that's the so thing. So we're, is, I mean, right now, women have the freedom to do what they want. Yeah, and, and, and that's... And, and you're a teenager. Yeah, and that's... They can't? And you're... Okay. Don't they need parental consent? Uh, not is, even, not it yet. depends on the they state, I think. Yeah, it, it depends on the state. I don't think they have to yet. Yeah. Yeah, I think in, I want to say in California, don't quote me on this, because I'm probably going to be wrong, even though we're already going to have a whole bunch of 16, gnarly comments right? anyways. Like 16. Yeah, 16. In, in California, uh, uh, a girl can get a... Because uh, I, I do know somebody who had one under 18. Yeah. I, I and don't believe there was any sort of parental... Yeah, so, so it's kind of like what I was saying earlier. I think eventually in time the mindset of people will change. And one part of that would be when you go into relationships with somebody before mm-hmm. you become physically intimate with them. Mm-hmm. You have those conversations. Yeah. yeah. Because it's always a possibility whether you right. take precautions or not. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So it's for sure. just important. about yeah. To have the conversation about, do you want kids before? Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> and if this happens, how would you handle it? Mm-hmm. And, you know? and uh, you know, uh, believe you me, that that has stopped a number of relationships before they even started. That's and one that's of those probably not a bad thing. Yeah. It's not. That's it wasn't. But at the same time, like, it's kind of a bummer. You know, you're talking to somebody and you're just like, yeah, I don't want kids. And then she does. And you're like, well... You know, you probably want to shake hands and say, have a good day. <laughs> like, well. That's what you should do. You know? yes. Yeah. Yes, I mean, you should have yeah. yeah. It's certainly better than her getting an argument. Yeah. Or, yeah. or yeah. somebody yeah. poking yeah. holes in condoms or. Yeah. Because yeah. apparently like that. that's still going to happen after. I mean, you can't control that. Yeah. But, but more than likely, if you're going to have that kind of a relationship or that but kind I mean, of conversation. It, what I'm saying is it's better to, to have the conversation before than. Yeah, of course. For sure. Right. Yeah, sadly too, children can be used a lot of times for As control. Collateral, yes. Yeah, I'm all about that. I've I've known a few people who've had that situation, and uh, I don't know. Um, like for instance, suppose uh, you got your girlfriend pregnant, right. and uh, you didn't want the child, but mm-hmm. she had it anyway. Right. And now you're on the hook for child support? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. yeah, because you didn't have that conversation before and exactly. Yeah. And well, yeah. well, I'm 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 questioning even the 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 morality forcing, the forcing. of forced, forced child, child support, support though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
because if a woman has a right to decide whether that baby comes into existence, shouldn't the man have a right to to control whether or not he's in that child's life and and supports him? Then don't have but sex. I, well, that, that, that's, a, that's why you have the conversation yeah. beforehand. Right. Well, the, he, I guess he's just saying if you haven't had that conversation, because ah, yeah, think good. about even if she does decide how that's going to affect the child, knowing it's growing up and its father didn't want children. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I mean, that's why it's just I mean, such a deep topic. Of it course, cases so of rape areas. are another issue. Yeah. yeah. Oh which yeah. Is a, I think it really comes down to it is it is the person's body, and they have yeah. Yeah. full control over it. They have every right to say what happens to their body. And you know, it, you know, we're mentioning you know the the uh, motivation or you know maybe malicious motivation to have a child might be a like child support or something like that. Let let's say um, that is that's something different because to me that is that's something that that the government has done. That's not normal social situation of okay. So do you want the responsibility of being a parent or not? Now, uh, the, the additional layer is, well, okay, so she wants to keep the child, but why? You know, that's, that, that, if that is, I mean, that's a genuine motivating factor of, 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 of some women. Very rare, but unfortunately common enough to kind of be a thing. So that they get uh, child support from the government? Yeah, oh, know, we were talking about that Yeah, earlier, we were talking about that earlier. That, women that, 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 you know, that it's not even state. necessarily you know, in the forefront of their head of, like, this is my motivating factor for having no, this child, but they do know somewhere in the back of their head whether they want to admit it or not that, you know, if they're not married, even if they have a happy relationship with the father, they can still collect child support. So... Child support or or money from the government? Uh, child support. Oh. And money from the government, right. too. Yeah, they, they both of them. If you're not married, you, uh, a woman can get uh, uh, the WIC stuff and... Well, that's, uh, you you get that regardless. Well, yeah, but I mean, if you're married, that's kind of like you have to prove that both of you aren't making enough to provide for the child. Whereas, if you're not married, the woman, if the woman isn't married to the man, then she all she has to say is like, "Oh, I'm single." You know, you know she, she doesn't have to prove that. From last I checked, I don't know if maybe something's changed on that, but. Long yeah, time since it, I had kids. Well, I think wild. if she's on a marriage certificate, that yeah, she, she couldn't do that. Yeah, exactly. So that's the thing is that like it, there, there's also a strange motivating factor to not get married. I'm not the biggest fan of marriage myself, but you know that's it's kind of a weird thing. So you're not supposed to have that at least traditional sort of family construct because there's that additional sort of like government like oh you know hey if we don't get married then guess what we get more bennies you know. So, uh, yeah. so let's. I know we all have the belief that women have the right to their bodies, but let's look right. at it from the perspective of somebody who believes that it's a life form, um, mm-hmm. and that you know if we believe in not killing people, mm-hmm. what's the difference? I'm trying, and I, I don't have this perspective other I, than I wouldn't do it in a late term. That's just me. I've never had one, but I. I think I wouldn't. You know, I'm not put in, put in that position, so I don't think I would. But um, I'm just trying to look at it from the perspective I, of people who are who are lifers and who believe, you know, a life is a life, regardless of whether it's outside or inside. So, so and, I, I guess, I guess the uh, what I what I would respond to that with would be something like. Are they conscious or not? I think that's the biggest thing. Are you are you killing something that is conscious and knows it's feeling pain and every it, same thing with animals? You know, if yeah. you're killing an intelligent animal, it it is it is taking life of life of something that knows it's in pain, knows all this. Now, I I couldn't tell you. I'm not a neuroscientist. I couldn't I tell you. I don't know either. Um, yeah. But I know that I don't remember anything before. I was like, you know, I don't know, four, three, four. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's just my perspective. Uh, but that doesn't mean you weren't conscious of things. Yeah, no, absolutely. Then. I, I, I may have not, ha- you know, had the ability to store the memories properly. They, you know, they may be in there, and I just can't get to them. But um, I, I think that is a factor. It, it does it does it know. Well, it the question becomes too: Can you be conscious without, without memory? You could still be sure, conscious in the moment aware, without without memory. It's not storing it. Uh, yeah. Right. You're not. 
you don't I really think, know what I think I think something does fundamentally change when you're about four years old, though, as far as that's concerned, which is why most people's memories are right around, start around no. three or four. So is it okay, then, to kill but babies up to four would, years old? I would I mean, obviously not say <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not suggesting that. No, we're, we're, not, uh, we're not Greeks and exposing <laughs> children on the mountainside. Yes, yeah. No, but I, I'm trying to understand their perspective, because in that realm, then it would I, be okay to kill a baby like, up to four years old, because they're not conscious. Are you killing a baby? Well, then there's... Well, no, there's I mean, the words, are you terminating pregnancy? That's the, that's the language. Well, I, I guess that we were talking after earlier. They've been born. Uh, if if after something born, came out okay. of me and it could live, and it's not aware. Yeah, it, exactly. It, it could live. It, that's the, and I'm starving it to I, death, or yeah. I mean, it could actually live if I fed mm, exactly. it or you know. Or somebody else took but, care of it. But right, are you required? Are you required to provide resources for the child just because it's morally? Not, it's not. Uh, Morally, it's not yes. able to fend for itself. So what about I would have situation? to find somebody to do it if I couldn't do it. Morally, I would. What about say. a situation why, when you why got do you think? a woman? Sorry. Go ahead. Like on on crack or something that's pregnant and doesn't want to terminate the pregnancy, but abuses her body, and you sit back and you watch that, and you know that child's going to be born with many many health problems, mental, psychological. That's what community's for. I don't. I don't know. I mean, it's a, it is a. Yeah. I mean, just look at it from that. But side. I couldn't. I, I, where it, it yeah. I couldn't tell thing. her to have an abortion. But of course not. But I'm just saying. Would, what if you're in that situation? Yeah, I, I, I would say all the people who are interested in kids, uh, you know, and, and those who are looking and just interested in helping kids like that. Hopefully, there's yeah. enough of them. I mean, of course, you can't force anybody to do it. Um, but I, I, I do think the moral thing would be to. Try to find somebody to take care of it, and if anybody's willing to. But I mean, yeah. you can't, of course, can't force anybody. That would that would definitely be, you know, uh, probably, you know, I think in the long run, a, a healthier way, you know, to uh, not necessarily solve the problem, but but help the situation. Well, you know, okay, so the man doesn't want to have the child; the woman does. You know, maybe uh, you know some sort of compromise would be like, well. You know, this. You know, if, if say his ar argument is something like, "Well, we you know we we can't afford this. We're not in the right situation in our life." You know, uh, adoption or you know a family that can't have children. You know, this th that might be. Uh, that's an option. Um, with me, uh, <coughs> you know, uh, obviously secondhand because I. Well, and it'd be a lot know. easier without the government too. Yeah. Uh, but or being robbed and having, you know, majority of our wealth not stolen from us. Yeah, that'd be well, crazy. not just that, but it costs somewhere around $100,000 to adopt a child. Mm, yeah. And that's before you get the child. That's, really? that's like processing fees and shit like that. So, it's definitely become a business. Um, I, I want to get back to this idea that you're morally obligated to take care of the child, though. Because I if you're morally like obligated am. to take care of the child like after it's born... Why are you not morally obligated to take care of the child before it's born? I am morally obligated to take care of it before it's born. It's in my body. If you're morally obligated to take care of it before it's born, then it's wrong to have an abortion. I mean, that, that, well, that was the conflict it, but, that, I, but you know, For me, you know. there's a certain point, it, and this is just me. This is my body. This is the, 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 the rules I made up for me. If, the, if, a, if I did not make my decision in a timely manner, which, you know, it was a cycle, you know, like this little thing that really, in my mind, was okay to abort. If it actually grew into something that could live beyond outside, it was my responsibility to take care of that. So that's for you, for that's me. the mark is... It could when, live when outside, it can, when, yes. Vi viably with, yes. without you? Yes. And what that's, is that? That's so, so, so why is isn't... Why, so why isn't, isn't developed in what, so why isn't month? why isn't that the case when it's still in your body then? Because it's it's well, feeding it's off of me. It's feeding it, it's, off of it's me. It's dependent on you while it's in your body, and then when it comes out, it's still dependent on you. It's just not in your body. Right. So how is that I different? Size. I don't know. I guess a little. It's easier to kill a bug than it is. I don't know. I, <laughs> I mean, mean, really, that's well, that's, really. That's it, what I think I'm is. trying it's to just, get down yeah, to. Yeah, it's like it's easier what, to what kill something logic, smaller. I don't know. What's the logic behind the idea? Is what I'm trying to get to. Because if you just say, uh, "Well, I feel like Mike's not a person, so I get to kill him." <laughs> well, spiritually, <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm I'm okay because 
with it all because we're just we hit the reset button all the time anyway. So it's it's this just is okay not a for me yes. to tell you. That. <laughs> <laughs> be careful around Christy. <laughs> be careful uh, around Christy. Keep your eyes open at night. But, but but it is a game that we're playing here with morality and all that. I just um I don't know. It just because I think that's that's a fundamental question on here. My I I believe that you are not morally obligated to take care of a, somebody just because they can't take care of themselves. But if they came out of me, yes, I am. I I feel responsible for something that comes out of me. I I. What, but not I, while it's in you. No, I feel responsible for it's in me. I. You don't think I did? What? Okay, where am I going wrong here? Well, you're saying it would be okay to abort as long as it wasn't viable outside of you. Uh, right, but a little psycho, I, like whatever, was not viable. If I took it out of me and placed it here and fed and it somebody with else took water, care of well, somebody could, could it, they, well, currently. But the thing, is, but the only um, other thing is, is that but whether whether the nutrients come from an umbilical cord or you feed it to them, how is there a difference? It's still dependent on you, whether it's inside your body or outside your body. But now so it's outside, and it can't well, live. Now it's outside. Well, yeah. In my well, body, it could live, but I'd outside, the, it can't. I'd right. The so, is. so, I'd the and and is. a child who can live outside of you would but, still die without your resources. But, but that's not necessarily true because somebody else could help the child. Yeah, somebody that's else true. could help. So I'd say the difference would be that, uh, in one case, she is being forced to uh, provide it with nutrients. Right. Um, so she's saying she can't kill it um, if... But she's saying that she has a moral obligation to take care of the child. Uh, but only So if she has well, a moral obligation to take care of it outside the womb, why doesn't she have a moral obligation to take care of it inside the womb? But I... She said she do, does. I do, but, I, but there's that line in which yeah. I would allow it to not be in my body. <laughs> See, it's just the bug. It's, it's so small. It smushed it. It's a we didn't even care. She's saying if I it's if it's forced to survive solely on her, then it is okay to terminate. If it could be provided and taken care of by somebody else who is willing, then it's okay. But then, there, you can't kill it at that point, right? Correct. But what complicates? Suppose it you're more. out in the middle of nowhere. And you have this child with you. It's okay to kill it if it if you're the only one who can take care of it. How old? <laughs> it's young enough that it can't fend for itself. Six months. If, if let's say let's say it is no like if somebody was capable with current technology, they could take care of it. But you're in the middle of nowhere, so that's not possible. No. What? So, I so, would try. To, I would want to take care so say, of it well, if it's like if, a toddler that can't if, take if care of it. If it could be removed and somebody else could take care of it adequately, but it, that is not possible at this point. I mean, this is definitely. Uh, no, I'm I saying. Think. I'm saying if if the measure is that you're being held hostage essentially by the fetus, uh, how is that different if there's nobody else around you to take care of the child? Exactly. That's what I was trying to get at. I, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm, I'm saying. <laughs> sweet. <laughs> so I'm saying, totally. how is it different yeah. Dude, to sweet. be held it hostage? Different. It isn't. Uh, okay, that's what I'm trying to say. So how is how is it right to kill the fetus before it's born, but not after? It's not. Well, I, th I, I think, think it's all personal choice. We it's were, you know, we were talking about, uh, you know, viability, and you know, with me when. I was in that situation, again, secondhand, because, you know, I obviously don't have the equipment. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, for me, like, my conflict was, well, okay, so, you know, what, what do we, you know, what's, what is viable? What is, what is the date? I'm, uh, my situation, to, 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 like, elaborate a little bit more on it, was that that was nowhere near what would, what would be considered viable. But in my head, it, it was, it was, you know... A, there, there was there was stress involved in it with, with with, uh, with what is viable because for me like I was born super premature like I was like doctors like hey, ain't gonna make it like that was the thing I had like tubes coming out of my head and all this sort of stuff like no there's pictures of it yeah um, so for me what what was viable was like well that's kind of fungible you know <laughs> not fungible that's not the right word but you know okay so what so what's how, viable how premature were you uh, I was born at five and a half months. 
So like that's the thing when they're just all like, oh wow. well, you know, Vi viable is like here. And I'm thinking wow. like, no, I was before there, so wow. and I made it. So and like twenty that years was, ago, that that was <laughs> wow. So that's the thing that like that was like that was something that was like racking around in my head, like you know it. You know, me, me, and the, and the woman I was with at the time it was like, and like I was trying not to be, you know, trying not to be impatient and and you know and not force a decision on her. But in my head, I'm thinking like, no, what, what is viable to me is is kind of you know that that's a Your that's an, that's a yeah. big gray line. There there, there is a gray area. Yeah. Um, which is getting earlier and earlier as technology progresses. Yeah. I mean, at some um, point they say they should be able to completely grow yeah. a baby in an external womb. And that. they're saying within yeah, uh, but is that the way to look uh, at as it? early as like I 2020. Know. I don't know. I was hearing. But what would we do? Would then people would adopt the little babies? Yeah, so our mean, opinions of that. abortion going to change 50 years later because technology allows children to be born earlier. Or, but it could. Well, you, you have another choice. You have well, a different choice. Well, yeah. see, see, see to me, the question is: a, you have you have two. I mean, who's going to actually take care of it? That's the problem. Exactly. You have two people yeah. involved. Essentially, you have the woman and the baby, and the woman is entitled to her body. And her resources. And I don't think that anyone is morally obligated to provide resources to anyone else, mm -hmm. uh, regardless of need. Well, and I don't think um, maybe, maybe um, you should anyway. Well, I was just going to say, you're I'm not, not going to impose my moral judgment right. on it. I mean, thing so, so what I'm saying, I might think it's So what I'm saying is, is if there's a, a, a fetus essentially lives off the mother's body while it's in the womb... So, evicting it, so to speak, would not would not be wrong. It wouldn't be wrong necessarily. Could you view it as force or not? Yeah. If if somebody was living in your house, living off of your things, yeah, you and you evicted them, how would that? That's what I'm saying. What I, what I'm saying is that. Uh, could it, could it, could, okay, so. That's another good point <coughs> as well, though. I guess I guess it would be. Uh, but. Who initiated the force? Yeah. If it's, I mean, uh, really, really, who initiated the force? The is that thing a being? Can you say it can initiate force? Uh, can, can if you, you know, if can it can't initiate, initiate force, is it a problem to avoid it? Exactly. If it can't initiate force, um, and can can you initiate force against it? Is it even an initiation of force if it's not truly it's, conscious? It's There's only of, it's only an initiation of force once you decide that you don't want it though. Because while while you're willing. to... To let this thing live inside of you, it's not forced because you're willingly giving your body to this, to to. Uh, but it so it's not until you decide I don't want this thing inside me anymore that it becomes that would become forced, right? So did the baby or did the fetus, whatever you want to call it, did that initiate force? Did the did the Sperm initiate force against well, did the life? Egg. Did, 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 did life? Um, did life? Did life? Did life initiate what, what, was force? This, was this sperm like I'm coming in? <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, was it a demand? Suppose uh, so, <laughs> suppose we let Mike into the house though. Like like he'll probably come over tonight after this thing is over. Yeah. We let him in and then he just doesn't want to leave. Is it? At and what start, point? And wait, wait, and start, start replicating myself. I start <laughs> doubling. Mike came yeah. in of his own accord. You created that inness in your in my body. You know if you know if we did. <laughs> well, the, wo the woman's egg was already there. The this sperm true. swam yeah, in. Yeah, right. And, and did he force his way in? Did the egg open the door? Yeah, but it's not like <laughs> but it's not like Mike staying over because he wanted to stay over. It's I see you're going with that, right. Stephen. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. I understand what you're saying. A penis shot Mike into the house. Because <laughs> 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 that's technically that's what happened, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. So, but. so I got so I got a question though. If you had a robot prostitute equipped with an artificial womb, and it was sentient. Could it be, or could it be found, or would it be wrong for him to ab then abort for for the robot to abort the yeah, the fetus? Why, and then you take the artificial you, womb out and put a new one in? Why, why would you have <laughs> like a some womb? sort of matrix <laughs> baby robot? Why, why would you create a problem? The when future there really is terrifying. With the robot? <laughs> exactly. Can we I mean, just not if the robot is sentient, it can put it in its cell. Yeah, does, the, does the womb have an on-off switch on it? Yeah, that would be weird. Oh, wow. hold on, guys. Oh, We're out of time. Oh, well, yeah, robot sex next week. Yeah.
for some time. Yeah, yeah we, we will get back to robot sex. <laughs> we can't promise it's next week. We can never promise it's next week. That's, that's a little bit too hard. We'll try to get to it next week. <laughs> Have a good night. Good night. Take night. care.